Here's round two in a kayak and uh, we're on our way to a spot we think that might be holding some artillery and hopefully some other uh, Civil War relics and um, we don't really, we didn't have a video from the last kayak hunt which is our first one. Um, we got a couple of pictures of some relics that we found. I actually found a pocket watch and it has a chain that's kind of melted to melted to it. You'll be able to see it once we uh, put up some pictures and hopefully we'll be able to get back with you today with some finds and see what we can get. Well, here's the first find of the day. Looks to be a like a chain link. Um, hopefully we get back with some more. I, uh, I mean, literally, I was just here for maybe two minutes, so maybe it's a good sign. This guy, water snake, I don't know. I don't know what kind of water snake that is. It's actually coming straight towards me. Oh. I finally got a decent target. Jeremy, he um, got about three teardrops, and I think I just got a little pistol ball. That's, uh, that's what it is. A little pistol ball, so it's fired. I'll take it. It's a horseshoe Jeremy just got. And here's another piece. Let me try to zoom this real quick. Can't really see because all the water's on my screen, but you can see there's a hole right there. And that's brass, but the entire rod itself is iron so if any of you guys have an idea send a comment on the video and we definitely appreciate it there's a real clear shot of it right there that's nice and uh, we'll get another shot of it on a relic roundup thanks guys can you guys see what I see look at that come on little buddy That's pretty water turtle right there. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I learned a very valuable lesson today. Don't get lazy. Um, you see right here, looks like a bunch of trash, there's a rebar, all in that right there, and I had this iron signal, and magnet stuck to it, and I passed it on up, and Jeremy didn't. What is it, Jeremy? Cannonball of some kind. It looks like, uh, it could possibly be a six pound solid shot. Don't know yet. You know, it's something we're going to have to get home, weigh, uh, mic it out, but congratulations, man, that's awesome. Yep. Stop being lazy, Randy. Hi, everybody. It's Jeremy with Relic Roundup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, iron artifacts that I found. Here's some horseshoes that I found today. Um, this is a, we think, might be a cannonball. Uh, it's three inches across, and we're thinking it's a six pound solid shot. Um, the location we were hunting, more than likely, that's what it is, but. Uh, we'll, we'll weigh it and find out for sure. Um, I found some other um, odd iron. I don't think that they're grape shots, but it, they're pretty heavy. I mean, I don't see how it would be flat on both sides, but I brought them home anyways. Um, I found this, it's like almost like a chain link or something. I'm not sure, but um, it used to all swivel, swivel like that. But... Not sure exactly what it is, but maybe you guys know or how old it is. Um, I found this little guy here. 
probably another piece of a chain link or something of that sort. Um, I found a pocket knife. That was pretty cool. I don't think it's period, but I brought it back anyways. I've got a uh, knife handle or it could have been a fork handle. That's cool. Definitely old. Um, this might be a ramrod end. Uh, the brass tip here maybe for cleaning. Um, the end for the cleaning. But uh, I'm not sure yet. I'll, I'll check when I get home. Um, but uh and I got an assortment of different bullets. I got some round balls. I've got a couple of lead seals here. I've got a, I think this might be like an infield or something. It's all, it's smooth, but it's a solid base. So not 100% sure yet on that. Um, one fired three ringer right here. And uh, the only other item that I have to show you guys would be, um, this thing here is pretty interesting. I think it's made out of brass. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. You can tell it had some design to it and stuff, but uh, whatever it was, it's broken apart now. So, but um, I'll clean it up and try to figure out what it is. But um, <clears throat> that's everything for uh, my part of Relic Roundup, and you guys have a good one and take care. Hi, this is Randy with my Relic Roundup, and I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys everything that I brought home to just kind of further check out. I know it's not a lot, but here we go, and a couple of pieces of lead right here, and I really don't know what that is. At first I thought it was some melted lead, but it just doesn't seem like it is, and we got a overall button right there. We also have this brass fork. I was really surprised to find a brass fork and overall button in the area I did. Usually something lighter like that's caught up in the banks and I found that in the cracks of the bedrock. And here's some a lead seal and that's that fired lead ball that I got right there. Pistol ball and lead seals are always nice to find. They're they're pretty old. And another fired um, piece of lead right there and I also saved this piece from rotting away into the ground. I know it's not period and it's definitely not what I'm looking for, but how can you pass up a hood ornament like that? And got some ironers, that little iron chain link that I got, and this looks to be like a handle of some sort. I kind of find them a lot in the rivers, and I've also found them on land too. But I just want to take out the time and thank everybody for stopping by and watching the videos and for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, check out some of the other videos. We definitely have some cool relics. And thanks, everybody. Hopefully, I'll be able to get out and not be so lazy next time and be able to pull out some decent relics. Thanks.